Hello YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. In this channel, we will be discussing various topics in the exciting world of AI, machine learning, and computer vision. Our content is crafted by our awesome human team, but here's the magic. It's finely tuned and optimized by our AI wizards, bringing you top-notch information. And guess what? The presentation is delivered to you by our AI hosts and voiced by our incredible AI avatars. Let's get started. In today's video, we will look at grocery shelf segmentation using computer vision. This project focuses on automating inventory management by detecting and segmenting grocery shelf products, thereby improving efficiency and planogram compliance. Here are the steps involved. First, we will set up the environment. We install required libraries like PyTorch, OpenCV, and Tesseract OCR. Set up dependencies for the segmentation task. Next, we prepare dataset by downloading the SKU 110K dataset, validate annotation files, filter invalid bounding boxes, and create a smaller subset of the dataset for efficient processing. After that, we define dataset loader. We will implement a custom PyTorch dataset loader to manage image data, bounding boxes, and masks, along with transformations for the training pipeline. We then proceed with the most important step of fine-tuning the model. We customize a pre-trained mask RCNN model for the grocery dataset by modifying its predictors, setting up an optimizer, and training with mixed precision to, to improve performance. Finally, visualize the predictions. We will develop utility functions to display predictions, including bounding boxes and segmentation masks on test images to evaluate model performance visually. Let us now look deeper into each step. Step two, prepare data set. The dataset preparation begins with downloading the SKU 110K dataset, a standard dataset for product detection on shelves, and extracting its contents to a structured directory. Annotation files, which contain details about the bounding boxes, labels, and image dimensions, are loaded and validated to ensure all data is intact and formatted correctly. Invalid bounding boxes are filtered by clipping coordinates to lie within image boundaries and removing entries where the minimum bounds exceed the maximum bounds. To reduce the computational load and expedite training, a subset of 50 images is created from the dataset. This subset, along with filtered annotations, is saved to new files for use in later steps, ensuring an efficient and clean dataset pipeline. Step 3. Define Dataset Loader. The custom dataset loader, implemented as a PyTorch dataset class, handles loading images, annotations, and generating masks. It reads image files and their associated bounding boxes, ensuring proper alignment between the dataset's annotations and images. Masks are created for each bounding box by overlaying binary masks on the image dimensions, representing object regions. Transformations, like converting images to tensors, are applied to standardize inputs for the model. A data loader is then used to batch and shuffle the data, optimizing it for model training. This setup simplifies the dataset handling process and ensures compatibility with the MASK RCNN model. Step 4. Fine tune the model. The MASK RCNN model, pre trained on general object detection tasks, is adapted to the SKU 110K dataset by modifying its prediction heads. Specifically, the classification head is updated to detect one object class, products, in addition to the background, and the MASK head is adjusted for the new dataset. The model is then moved to a suitable device, GPU or CPU, for computation. An SGD optimizer and learning rate scheduler are defined to optimize the model parameters during training. Mixed precision training is used to improve efficiency and reduce memory usage with GradScaler handling dynamic scaling of gradients. The model is trained over multiple epochs with batch processing for images and associated annotations. Step 5. Visualize predictions. Visualization functions are implemented to evaluate model predictions by overlaying bounding boxes, confidence scores, and segmentation masks on the input images. Images are transformed back to their original format for display, 
and bounding boxes are drawn with labels indicating confidence scores. Masks are applied as overlays with adjustable transparency to highlight detected objects. These visualizations help in assessing the accuracy of the predictions and identifying potential improvements in model performance. By analyzing outputs on validation images, the team can debug issues and fine-tune the model to achieve better results. Please refer attached notebook for the code demo. Here are a few sample outputs. OK, we can see bounding boxes for the objects. All right, we can also see the masks for each instance of the grocery objects. OK, we can see bounding boxes for the objects. All right, we can also see the masks for each instance of the grocery objects. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of AI and machine learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech talks, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on our future explorations. Until next time, happy coding, and keep the curiosity alive. Thanks for watching.